This week we're going to talk about developing the attack. And if you look at chances in a hockey game, they can occur off the forecheck, offensive zone, face-offs, power play. But the number one usually on most teams is off the rush. Ideally, what you'd like to do off the rush is you'd like to bring the puck through the middle of the ice and then kick it wide. In that case, you draw the two defensemen together and then you play it to the outside where you have some room and time. This doesn't always happen, so today we're going to talk about the majority of chances on the rush come by bringing the puck in the outside lane. In these scenarios, we believe it's important that the puck carrier skates quickly through the neutral zone as fast as he can, blue to blue, and tries to grab the blue line. Grab the blue line means you just get the puck over the blue line. If you have a chance to drive deep and the defenseman backs up, then you want to take that space. But in a lot of instances, you're crowded as you hit the blue line. The most important thing off the puck is we have a mid lane driver. We have to have a mid lane driver to set the table for the rush. We always tell the puck carrier that if you hit the blue line and you can grab the line, we'll give you six options. You need to grab the line with possession, and here are the first three options. If this defenseman crowds you at the blue line, you have three things you can do. Chip it off the boards for the drive player. You can play the puck under his stick. If he reaches out and has a long stick, play it under his stick to the drive player. Or the third thing you can do is make a dot play, we call it, where you lay the puck towards the face-off dot and the drive player skates into it. Now, if the opposition's defense backs in on the rush and doesn't confront you at the blue line, here are three other options for the puck carrier. One, he can pass to the wide guy who should stay in the dot lane in case you shoot off the goal and it goes to him. Two, you can pass to the late player, which in this case I indicate as a defenseman, but as we mentioned with our team, a lot of times our defense are one of the first three guys in the rush. And then finally, he can cut off the drive. He can cut diagonally off, off the driver and shoot or make a pass when he does that. In summary, we've given you six situations that the puck carrier has if he can grab the line. Ideally, skate through the middle, kick it wide, but if you have the puck in the wide lane, try and get the puck over the blue line, and those six options will present themselves as the other players enter the zone. You have to read the defense. Is he tight? Is he backing in? And there's nothing wrong with the puck carrier skating wide and taking a shot off the drive, creating a spray for the net drive guy or the wide guy on the dot. Good luck with it.